And joining us now uh, from Ramallah on the West Bank is the senior Palestinian uh, advisor, Nabil Shath. Uh, Nabil, thanks very much for joining us. Uh, did Hamas make a major blunder in rejecting that Egyptian uh, proposed ceasefire? Well, we, we think Hamas should have accepted. Uh, we are supporting the uh, Egyptian uh, initiative, and we want to get a stop to the spilling of blood and to the horrible, tragic war that is being waged on Gaza. Uh, now, Hamas has questions about the, the unwillingness of Israel to fulfill any of the obligations made in the agreements uh, that, that they made in 2012 and 2008. Gaza is still fully under siege, and uh, none of the ag agreement, uh, agreements that have been signed before have been implemented. But we think that this is something that can be discussed later. What we should do now is proceed to an immediate stop of the Israeli attack on Gaza and therefore an immediate ceasefire. And we are working very hard to make that happen as soon as possible. I know that President uh, Mahmoud Abbas, the president of the Palestinian Authority, is meeting with Egyptian leaders, including the Egyptian president, uh, El Sisi, uh, right now. How do you do it? Are Hamas officials involved in these discussions in Cairo, as far as you know? Yes, uh, President Abbas has been in touch with Mr. Mash'al in Qatar and uh, with uh, uh, his uh, deputy in Cairo and with the two of his deputies in Gaza. Uh, but uh, the people who are making decisions for Hamas today are the military and they do not really uh, f uh, accept that, that ceasefire. They think there are other conditions that have to be met before they accept that ceasefire. But I, I think that we should continue to try. President Abbas is in Cairo. He is going to Turkey next and then back to the Gulf, and he will do everything possible to, to get that ceasefire on as soon as possible. So what I hear you saying, Nabil, is that the political leadership of Hamas, uh, not necessarily in control, they can't necessarily control what's happening militarily, that military wing really is in charge, is that right? That is right. There is a difference of uh, opinion between the, the, their military and the civilian government, uh, both of the leaders of Hamas outside Palestine and inside. And, but I think this has to be discussed with them, have to be negotiated, and we are conducting uh, these discussions. We would like to assure them that a ceasefire this time will be a real ceasefire. There will be no more Israeli attacks, and that uh, Gaza will be set free in at least ending the siege of Gaza, allowing people to move in and out, and allowing products to come fresh water and electricity. And I think this is what is being discussed today. Uh, no doubt everybody wants to see a ceasefire, but the question, we feel that all the other questions can be this dealt with a little later. Nabil Shah, uh, thanks very much for your perspective. Uh, we really appreciate it. We'll check back with you tomorrow as well.